Hello folks, it's Paul Stranger. Today I'm doing my top 10 badass Team Fortress 2 weapons. These are weapons from the workshop where I think are badass and deserve a shout out. And if you want to have a look at these weapons, have a look down in the description. There should be 10 videos, not 10 videos, 10 workshop items. And plus there's a bonus one at the end as well. Now before we start, I will say a couple of things. Now in some of my top 10 videos I have people complaining about me, you know, trying to read out the names or trying to speak. I have dyslexia and God will learn delay. To those people who go, what the beep, his spelling and reading is terrible. It's because of those two disabilities that I'm pretty crap at reading at times. So please bear with me. And I don't want to see comments, people going, oh, this guy can't read, and then me have to explain about it, or just, just let them know what our problems I have. So, with that said, I also want to thanks to everyone who basically liked the videos of the top 10 TF2 ones. I will do another Dota one and a CSGO one some point, maybe this week, or maybe next week. But... I enjoy making these for you guys, and if you enjoy them, like them down below, as, you know, they get to see all these cool items that people create, and seeing them create them is pretty cool, and it is sad that we don't see a lot of weapons being added into Team Fortress 2, as we do hats. So I guess when Valve are dealt with the various things, and I will do an update video on competitive play at some point, but... I hope Valve will add weapons more, hopefully buildings, because I hope one of these get in the game. So starting at number 10 is a PDA known as, or as it is, is the Gaming Texan. Now it's basically a little PDA, I guess if you had a special building, I guess it would be like a gaming building. And it would be a very interesting one in that. Now we have no new PDAs we just got the default PDA and I think it would be getting a new PDA would be very very rare and I've already seen some PDAs in the workshop a couple of Halloween themed ones and the Christmas one even Christmas themed buildings that are in the workshop ready to be added into the game but Valve don't bother adding them I don't know why but it is quite sad to see some good PDAs not being used at all, just waste of the way. But one day, Valve, one day you will add them in. So at number nine is the Super Jumping Robot. Well, as I'm reading here, but as you can see, the t the actual weapon's name is pretty interesting. It's like the laser from the Invasion update, the Kappa, but pretty interesting weapon. It's pretty cool, and it has that sci-fi feel to it. So, well done on that weapon. Pretty good. So, for number 8 for the medic is the Langcher. If that's correct, if not, then I apologize. It's a sort of a Crusader's Crossbow Medic Gun Primary. And we don't get much Medic Primary Guns. The Medic gets bugger all new weapons, unfortunately, and that's quite sad. But it would be nice if we see this in the game and have some new upsides and downsides to them. So come on Valve. And good weapon as well. The next one is another engineer. And the 26 Shooter MK2. Now this pistol looks freaking amazing. I have to bloody admit. It's basically a little sentry gun on a revolver. And that looks pretty damn cool. And there is a set for it as well. But a damn good pistol. You know, that's pretty good. Well done on that. So at number six is the Wire Tap. Now this is a pretty cool revolver. As you can see, it has a laser sight, a silencer. And, you know, I might guess that maybe there's a damage penalty, but your shots are silent and you shoot a little bit quicker or maybe accuracy gets better I don't know but this is pretty darn cool I would like to see it in the game well done on that one as well so at number five it's a pyro flamethrower the fire hose now this, <laughs> this is pretty cool 
yet again another good pyro looking weapon this is what the pyro looks like pretty much the team fortress classic pyro you know with the model and everything and it's a crowbar that weapon will be in the game in this list as well but yeah it looks pretty damn amazing and you know it's good to have some nice cosmetics with the weapons as well and obviously with that list we have the crowbar the the standing standard issue, which is basically a crowbar. I guess if Valve add it in, you could say it's a Gordon Freeman crowbar, and it's all class, even the spy. And it makes sense with the engineer, which is pretty cool. Yet again, we don't really get a lot of weapons into the game. It is quite sad that we don't, but usually Valve do make up with some pretty cool updates, and they have been for a while. So, for the next one, there's a soldier rock launcher, the iron dream now this rocket launcher looks pretty sweet and I have to say I really like it it's big it's heavy and you know it's something you don't want to mess with now I guess that the upsides and downsides will probably have more pack of a punch but maybe less clips we don't really know but it's something interesting to look forward to so at number two is Tokamak I probably butchered the name, but yeah, the iron it's from the Iron Gauntlet item set. But this mini gun, damn, that is just excellent modeling right there. And I would like to see this in the game. You know, I'm I really hope they do add it in. It's pretty damn good. So at number one is this grenade launcher, the handheld. Well, I'm just going to call it the handheld, because I can't be asked to read that thing. It's basically like an artillery shell. And it has the weapon for it, it has the projectile for it, so if you see it, you'll know it's obviously there. But look at it, that is just damn good. That is standard for valve quality weaponry, right there. So what's at the bonus? RGM's watch. I found this in the workshop. You know, you, you guys know I'm a big Metro fan. And, you know, I would love to see this as maybe as a craftable item. Maybe, I wouldn't mind if it was a reskin. Because it looks pretty cool. I like it. I, to be honest, I would craft it and trade for it. Because, as a Metro fan, and you know, it's pretty darn cool. So, well done of all the cosmetics. Not cosmetics, weapons. Well done to everyone who's created them. Links in the descriptions to all these items if you want to give them an upvote. Like I said, it's unfortunate that Valve don't add weapons as common as they do with cosmetics. Now, they have co cut down on cosmetics lately with the new updates. And we have the reskin weapons. And that's nice, but when people ask for new weapons, they talk about weapons with stats, not, you know, reskins. And as much as I like the reskins, I'm not into tier 2 as much as I used to. But it's nice with the updates, and I do like the contracts, and they do keep me coming back but not enough to satisfy me. But with this competitive gameplay, you know, competitive, six passes have gone out already, and you know, we got so many interesting things, so competitive on it way, we don't know about the official update, but keep your eyes out for anything new guys, and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much.